May the Force be with you. Hello, Fostu. Have you missed me? I have missed you guys so much. And now it is time for another Floss Tube. And I think it is episode 48. What I do know is that it is the 16th of January. Oh my God, half the month has already passed. Where does time go? I mean, well, I don't mind that time passes by pretty fast, but it is scary at the same time, isn't it? So what have you guys been up to? I wonder, please tell me down in the comments below um, well, I have been stitching, stitching a little bit, not as much as I usually do. I have been knitting a lot more than I usually do because I usually don't knit at all. And I have been off work for a little while and now I'm back to work and yeah, it is what it is. Um, first of all, it is 2022. It's a new year and the last time you guys saw me, I made a plan video on my upcoming rotations for the full coverage and for my WIPGO, which is, you know, the small kit projects that I have. So for the two first weeks of the year, I have stuck to my plan, which is pretty good. It is not as I planned to because I, when I made the plan, I planned of, you know, stitching a lot. But since I'm knitting now, I don't spend as much time on it. And to tell you the truth, I get in pain in my body and my fingers, especially when I'm stitching because I had almost a whole month break of stitching. And I notice it very well now that when I'm back to stitching again. So I'm not stitching, stitching as much as I usually do. Anyway, 2022. I'm rambling, I'm rambling already. It's great, isn't it? I have this book. I never got my days of stitching or days of, I don't know what the calendar is called. It doesn't matter. I got this dotted journal journal where I've started making my plans. Um, this is my, oh, it's whiting out, I'm sorry. This is my Nikki rotation and my challenges. And this is my full coverage challenges and the list. I'm following 5,000 stitches on each project. This is my WIPGO board. And this is my also full coverage challenge, 22,000 stitches in 22. This is the January month, what I'm planning. And this is my two weeks of stitching. Um, so week one and week two, and I was thinking that I was going to use this amazing, I'm sorry if I'm turning backwards I was planning on using you know all the stickers this book has I can't fit it in them in here very well so waste of money for me and after the two weeks I've made some notes for my floss tube so I will try to have like a little red thread for you guys I usually don't start my episodes by rambling this much before I start talking about stitchy kindness, but I'm going to do that now. So we have a very sweet lady called Tempe. I don't know how to pronounce her name, if it's Tempe or Temp, Tempe, um, who bought me some coffee. And it's very appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Um, I have noticed that noticed. I know that Buy Me A Coffee has stopped their 
uh, collaboration with PayPal or something like that. So it doesn't work anymore. Uh, I did find another place that is called Kofi, K-I, uh, not slash, but I don't know what you call the middle sign there. And then F-I. So that works just the same as buy me a coffee. So I've put down that link link in the description box below if you would like to support me and my channel. It's not necessary. Watch the ads. That helps so much. But every little help I get is a great help. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I was surprised by Martina who decided to gift me a heaven and earth chart. Oh my God, I love heaven and earth. I love cross stitching patterns. And she bought me the minis. It's on my wish list. It was, now it's gone because she gifted it to me. Um, it's the mini Rainbow Valley and the artist is Jody Berksma. And I'm putting in a picture here of it. And I love that. Um, it's a story keep, keep. It's not a mini. I'm sorry. It's a story keep. So I I haven't looked so looked at this but this pattern actually, but I have finished a story keep uh, before, and it was like I think it was three pages, and then a half page or something. Uh, and it's the perfect size, you know. You get to stitch a heaven and earth, and you get you know all the confetti you get all the detail but in a you know and you can finish this within a year no problem and this one you have the frog you have the mountains and the the flowers this is such a beautiful story keep so martina thank you very much i hope i get to start it i have said no new starts in 2022 so maybe in 2023 I really like this one. It's so soft and nice and beautiful. And I got a little Christmas surprise by Catherine from Cat Talks. You guys, you everybody know who Cat is by now, at least if you're watching my channel. Cat and I started the um, Amazing Animal Stitch Along on the 1st of August in 2021. And she's killing that design. She has made such great progress and I love watching her progress and her awesome floss tube because she doesn't do a floss tube like most of us does she does it more like in a vlog a vlog way over two weeks and it's great fun to follow along not only in stitching but a little bit on what she's doing you know every day and I enjoy that very much you get to know the person very well like that but she gave me a Christmas present and it was the super sized Max Color Randall Spangler Flight of the Imagination. Oh my God, I wanted to start it like <laughs> right away, but you know, I really can't. Oh, I really wanted to start it. Um, but that it might be like I was thinking well maybe I should start it on when we have the cross stitch retreat we were going to maybe a new start uh, and I was going to meet Catherine there for the first time now that the retreat is not happening but and then I was thinking well maybe a birthday start or something or a vacation start when in the summers I have something to look forward to so maybe maybe I would like to try it on 32 count with one strand uh, 10 stitching like Catherine is doing her amazing animals on and for there's a lot of black in the background of flight of imagination maybe using the CXC or anchor thread but I don't know but thank you, Martina and Catherine. Thank you so very much for the heaven and earth patterns. 
you know, you guys, you know, I love heaven earth. I love the other full coverage places too. I do, but heaven and earth has a very, very, very special place in my heart. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So <clears throat> as I was saying, I don't think I, I really deserve this, but it's so appreciated and it makes me so happy when I get a little bit of support and appreciation it it you know it motivates also to you know keep going um so yeah that's it i've been rambling for such a long time i love doing floss too you know it takes a while you know oh i need to do this i have to bring all the stuff together i have to write down the notes and make sure i don't forget too many things and then i start and it's like talking to my friends i haven't seen for a while and i have so much to say it's i love it i really enjoy it so whips for the first two weeks what have i been up to um i will put that away i will put it here sorry i know i'm not gonna try i have a thing you know i've noticed everything people are saying i'm sorry i haven't done this I haven't done that, you know, excuse me for the crinkle, excuse me for opening the project bag. Excuse me for drinking some coffee or tea while I'm floss tubing. Mm. Yes. And I'm sorry for the lightning. It is what it is. So first on my whip go, it was number 19. It was um, drawn. Come on, I want some light. Woo. Lightness. No, you will just have to. Yeah. And my number 19 was 140. No, 144 hobbies. That's my number. 101 alphabets by Rosewood Manor. I think it was my first Rosewood Manor sampler. And I love it. I love it. But I wasn't really feeling the 101 uh, this time. So I wasn't enjoying it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it. This is how the sampler looks like. And yeah, it's very bright and nice with a rain light. It's just, it's 101 different alphabets throughout this piece and there are some small motives and i was hoping to finish the second page of this amazing design and i did so i'm very pleased with that <clears throat> i have the linen it's stitched on a 36 count linen. I'm using DMC threads and I'm using two strands over two. So, and I love the result. It's really nice. This linen is really nice. I'm very scared though that it's going to be dirty. So I try to treat it as well as I can. So this is how far I am right now and I did the owl and this C and the little flower and the little C I made this thing here I made this alphabet and this alphabet and there's a small a so this is one over one on 36 count and I did this one this a should be a little bit further this way but I didn't feel like frogging on 36 count, so I don't think it will make a difference. This is the top left corner, and it's really nice. Really fun. I love it. It is a little bit tedious, you know, to start and end every letter with the pin stitches. So, yeah, this is it. And a thing I've noticed. <laughs> That a lot of people, you know, say, I'm sorry, I didn't iron this. Well, I don't know. Why should we apologize for not ironing? I don't know. So 
The next one from my Whipco board was the sailboats. And that was a new start for me. It's a very old kit I have for many years ago. And I love boats, not to be on them. I like to look at them. I find them very, very beautiful. And this is how, how it looks. And I started in the middle, the center of, of the, um, the design, the pattern. <clears throat> and my whip go goals is 25 minutes, 10 days each. So I did 10 days on 101 alphabets. And um, I have only made six days on the sailboats so far. Let's see before I show you. Um, I wonder if this is 18 count or maybe, I think it might be 18 count actually. I don't know, it's Ada. I'm using DMC thread two over one. This is the right way. This is how far I got so far. Oh, you can actually see it's it's a boat. <laughs> it's difficult to see when you're sitting in and stitching. So this is how far I've gotten on six days, 25 minutes a day. Um, so I really enjoy that. It's nice. You know, an hour would be just enough stitching for me at this moment. So yeah, I like that. Um, what else? Permit of Copenhagen. I, I'm sure this is still available. Um, right, so. so I have four, seven, ten. I have four more days to, to stitch on this. So I am trying to, there is going to be a little bit of, uh, some back stitching and I would like to do that so I can see how it looks. This looks weird. Why is it blue here? And oh yeah, I don't know, whatever. And so that was the whip go, the small kit um, stitches. And now for the first two weeks of this year's rotation, which I call the Nikki rotation which is a rotation of eight weeks total with six projects total. And I started out with two weeks of my fun stitch, which is my once upon a fairy tale. And yes, I haven't done as much as I would have I would say 3,000 stitches a week was my average stitching before. Now, this time I have done just over 5,000 stitches. Um, even if I had vacation, so I would have had a lot more done if I was just stitching, which I'm not. But this is my progress. Oh, I love it. I so love this thing. My goodness, this part here, this part is my absolute favorite part at the moment because you get that contrast. You have the light coming up from behind this bridge and the books and you have some trees and greens. It's so, so beautiful. I love it love 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 and i've been working in the sections you know 20 by 30 and i've been cross contour stitching within that area and then parking underneath so and here is the end of so there's two pages here this is the the end of that page so i've just been stitching a little bit out into the next page to not to get the grid lines and then I went down here and I finished the next 20 by 30. 
and then I started on the next and then I just called it a day because it was time to do the floss tube and then I won't have any more stitching time today but it's looking good and I'm enjoying it. I could stitch on this for the whole year I promise I really enjoy stitching on this but I'm a little bit sad to have to putting it away but you know it is what it is I'm gonna see if I can get out of this darkness um, it's stitched on 25 count I'm using DMC thread I bought a thread kit kit from um, Barb over in the UK before before they left the European Union um, so no I can't buy any kits from her anymore um, one strand over one full cross I love it I love it so much so that's the whips that's what I've been working on let's talk about plants I don't really have plants I'm just gonna follow my rotation so I'm gonna keep on for four more days on my sailboats and then I have finished my whip go work or whip go rotation for January but we all know that January has 31 days so what will I do for the left 11 days and I was thinking either I will just stick to my full coverage pieces and just not stress out about it because I am stressing out about having time for everything. But maybe like in the weekend when I have a little bit more time or if I have a day off at work, maybe I feel really like pulling out my Chatelaine Poison Garden. Um, I have some specialty stitches I want to finish. I have the beads and then, oh, and the back stitching for the names. Um, I would really like to finish that. Then this part would be finished. Um, I do have a problem though. The thread you're using for the leaves, it's the same I used on these leaves, I think. I'm running out, so I don't have enough thread for the rest of uh, the project, which is sad because I bought a thread kit. So I thought there would be enough threads for the whole thing. I made an order from Traditional Stitches a long time ago. And yeah, I haven't received that. They haven't received it either. So I don't know. So I might bring out my Chatelaine for a few times to see how far I can get on, especially the, the specialty stitches. They go pretty fast when you start that. So that is one thing, the whip go and that. And then we have two weeks, one week of Gecko Rouge and one week of um, unconventional cross stitch. And I have decided that my Gecko Rouge will be shelf life because that's the first one I bought and I would like to see a little bit more progress on this thing it's a 25 count one over one full cross I started in the top left corner and knowing that this week coming up I have a 51 hour week if I don't do any extra hours which means I have hardly any time left for anything but just eat, work, sleep. But I would, I'm, I wanted to start over in the second room, but I don't think I'm gonna manage to do that much. So I'm hoping to just finish this first room in the shelf and be finished with that. That would be very nice to accomplish. We'll see. Maybe I get to start the pink room with the bird in, I don't know. But that is my goal. Gecko Rouge, huge, it's a thousand, twelve hundred wide, so it's like all the way over, it's super big. 
and I have an unboxing video of this Gecko Rouge. Go watch it. You'll enjoy it, I promise. <clears throat> Here I am. No apologizing. So, oh yeah, maybe I should show you. Um, on this, in this shelf life, I've decided to put the threads on bobbins. I don't pu put all the threads on the bobbin. I don't know how many, I don't know, but I just, I keep them pretty small so I can fit a lot of them in here. So all of the colors, I think there's like 150 colors maybe. So they all will fit in here. And I just wind as I pick a color. Otherwise, whoops. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Otherwise the threads comes in these things here. And you know, you can pull threads straight from the cards, but they're paper and they're gonna break. So I decided to just wind them on bobbins. And I have four of these cards for this project, I think. So that's how I do that. And then the last week of January, it's time for the unconventional cross stitch. And I know we have been talking about the Alice of Wonderland and Ellie, Ellie and Kylie started this on New Year. But the first unconventional cross stitch I bought was the beauty will save the world, the world. And I just love it. It is so, so, so beautiful. And it's also the way I'm stitching it with parking, just doing a 10 by 10 grid is really relaxing. So that is the one I will focus on. such a small project compared to the other ones. I mean, this is the whole <laughs> piece. So this is my progress on her. I started in the middle and I'm working in a, in a spiral. So I'm here, I'm going to stitch here and then I go up around like this. And I just, if, if the color is not in the next grid or that one, then I finish the, the thread. And so there won't be any, I will, there will only be part threads in the next grid. Beautiful. So that's that. Um, I have the threads on these organizers I bought on Etsy. Just search thread organizers and they will show up. That's it. That's it. Um, I have to look in my book. So I have said what I need to say. I have. What's happening? So, yeah, I'm not going to try to stress about, you know, oh, I have been feeling a little bit, oh, I only made 100 stitches today or maybe 200 stitches. You know, why didn't I do more than 3,000 stitches a week like I usually do? But um, I'm trying not going to focus on it. My goals are like the full coverage fanatics challenges the whips and wonders of the world which is 5,000 stitches for each wonder and I will do that using my full coverage pieces which I have in my Nikki rotation and if I only do 500 stitches on for example shelf life that's fine that's just 500 and the next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on it I will you know get closer to that goal I will get more progress on specific projects this year and that is what I wanted to do 
And then I have like the new start with my small kids doing the whip go where I get a little of a, um, not flexibility, but you know, you get to do all the things and yeah, I'm knitting. So that is why I spend less time stitching so I can knit. This is my first Stephen West shawl and I love it. It's the Curvet shawl. And if you are interested in following my knitting journey, I have started a, a podcast called Knit All The Things, the podcast. And I have made two episodes over there so far. I'm very new at knitting. I know nothing about yarn and I'm learning how to understand the patterns in English, which is a huge challenge. Um, so yeah, um, haul you say, Linda, aren't you having any haul? Well, I'm trying to buy very, very little cross stitching things. Things are happening in my life, which makes it very difficult for me to buy things, which makes me very sad, but it is what it is. I did, however, get this amazing uh, first um, pattern of the A Year in the Woods collection for 2021. And this fox is just amazing. It is so beautiful and that is the haul I have I'm pretty proud of myself I'm sad I haven't bought any mirabilias but that will just have to wait um yeah so that is all oh my god 30 minutes only <laughs> what's wrong with me I wanted to do some more of the, you know, stitch with me videos. Um, I totally forgot to do that with Once Upon a Fairy Tale this time. Oh, I'm so mad about myself for that. But um, I will try to do that. So you get a little bit more content when with stitching. Um, but I'm not promising anything because I can't put the pressure on me. I have to focus on work and life first. Um... So if you want to support me, buy me some coffee, um, there is a link down below, you know, watch the ads. I know it's tiresome sometimes, but that's why I have a YouTube premium. So I don't have to watch any ads at all. And I'm supporting everyone I'm following. Um, head over to watch uh, Catherine from Cat Talks and Nikki from Nikki Crafts. Um, don't forget to look at Rachel Ray's floss tubes. And if you like diamond painting, she has lots of that. Be aware, you might be <laughs> get enabled. Um, yes, and the podcaster I'm really enjoying to watch is Nitty Natty. I like her a lot. So I would like to recommend that if you like knitting. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful upcoming two weeks that you had, have had a wonderful new year and that you have great plans for 2022. Um, and I just hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Now let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice day. Love you all. Bye. -bye.